Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to leave you feeling inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about how doubt and overthinking kills our dreams and goals. We all have goals we want to accomplish, but that voice in the back of our head that gives us doubt stops us from doing so. We think, what will people think? What if I fail? What if people don't like it? Then the overthinking leads to doubt, and before you know it, we start giving ourselves excuses on why we shouldn't even try. And guess what? We then begin to believe the doubt, and it stops us from taking action on something that could have changed our lives. The truth is, overthinking is our way of avoiding pain and failure. The reality is, most of us get in our own way. We believe the voice in our head that says, why even try? So what's the solution? Well, Nike said it best, just do it. If you have a goal, go get it. Put your work out there for the world to see. Reach out to the people who can help you. Post about it on social media. Get into the flow state of action. The less we think about the reasons why we can fail, the more of a reason we have to believe that they can indeed come true. Doubt tells us we can't start until we are completely ready or things are perfect. Guess what? The time will never be right. You will never feel completely ready. But the more you procrastinate doing what you love, the more you sabotage yourself and procrastinate from getting the things you truly want. Remember, we miss the shots we don't take. So don't overthink, don't second guess. If you want something truly and deeply, then go for it. The biggest failure in life is living a life of regret. So make sure you ignore the doubt and rather than overthinking all the reasons we can fail, think of all the reasons why you can and will succeed. Stay tuned, coming up after the break. Let's talk about the name, the Scatterbranch Company. It's an interesting name. Where did you guys come up with that? We, When we were trying to figure out the name, we wanted it to be something unique to us. We bounced ideas back and forth, kind of, we probably went through 60 or 70 different names. What does luxury mean to you? Luxury. In India, I discovered that true luxury isn't something you buy off a shelf. True luxury is a feeling that you are the Maharani of your world. And it can be all designed around you. All the beauty is yours. All the music is yours. India showed me that luxury doesn't follow designers and brands. True luxury follows its own heart. Incredible India. Joining us now is Cody Benson, one of the co-founders of the Scatterbranch Trading Company. Scatterbranch Trading Company is a specialty coffee and trading goods business supplying goods locally to the Dallas area and nationwide online. The company was founded by Cody Benson and Andrew Kaufman from North Texas. Thank you so much for having me. My team loves working with you. I love working with you guys. <laughs> so. Oh, well. It's always a good thing to hear. <laughs> yeah, so it's always a pleasure. Let's talk about the Scatterbranch Trading Company. How did it get started? So Scatterbranch Trading Company, it, me and Andrew, the other founder, when we first, we when we were in college, we were still trying to figure out kind of where we wanted our lives to go, what direction we wanted to take it. We knew we wanted to try to start something. Uh, and coming from a small town, we had a decent reach within our community because we're so small. Um, so we just kind of did some research, kind of dug around on the internet, trying to figure out exactly where, um, you know, we could just kind of dive into some, a new industry. And we weren't really focused on trying to make it anything that we've 
come across before. We were, were both very engaged in a rural community, so mm -hmm. we didn't want to have that same influence, which is a little backwards thinking, mm -hmm. but we, we wanted to take it in a new direction just to kind of see what would happen. Yeah. And then we stumbled upon the idea of coffee and we saw a lot of coffee shops were starting to kind of spring up here and there and did some research on it and figured out it was a relatively easy market to get into. So we found a manufacturer to work with us and we started producing and then we've just been kind of rolling from there. Yeah. Well, I love your Instagram page. You guys always have very funny memes of Baby Yoda, all kinds of stuff, all these funny <laughs> coffee memes that they make me laugh. I love it. Are you a big coffee drinker yourself? I mean, you must love coffee. <laughs> yeah, probably an unhealthy amount of coffee. But it'll probably get me one day, but uh, that's what happens. <laughs> let's, let's talk about your journey with entrepreneurship, how it started. I know you have a business partner, Andrew. Let's talk about how you guys met and how you guys dove into this. So uh, Andrew, he I met him back in high school. So we went to high school together in Commerce, Texas, which mm -hmm. is a super small town, like I mentioned. Yeah. Uh, so we became really good friends. We were actually in um, FFA, which uh, Future Farmers of America, mm -hmm. which is kind of an agricultural group. And so we kind of got to know each other really well through there. And after we, we both went to college together, and then in college we just Andrew had kind of been there through all of my random side jobs that I've had in the past and uh, I've done photography and I've I made uh, hand forged knives at one point. I have a very broad range of... Jack of all trades. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so I thought about, we kind of stumbled on coffee and I just asked him to come over one night and I was like, hey, would you want to jump in on this too? I mean, be a partner in this and we could try to see what would happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if it fails, we can at least say we tried. And so he kind of jumped in on it and we signed all the paperwork to make it all official and went on. Amazing. <laughs> That's how entrepreneurship starts. It's, it just starts with a small idea. And once you get it rolling, it's, it's amazing. It just starts to flourish. Let's talk about the name, the Scatter Branch Company. It's an interesting name. Where did you guys come up with that? So Scatter Branch is actually a little community outside of Commerce. Okay. And there's, that's technically where I live. If you look at my address or anything, it's going to say Commerce. But Scatter Branch is, there's probably less than 50 people in the whole wow. area. Yeah. Uh, and it, it we, when we were trying to figure out the name, we wanted it to be something unique to us, but also had some grit to it almost. Yeah. Uh, and so we bounced ideas back and forth, kind of, we probably went through 60 or 70 different names. Wow. And we find a lot of people had kept mentioning to name it after Commerce, and we weren't entirely set on that. And then, uh, we thought about Scatter Branch, and you know, there's there's a really interesting history behind the whole area. I mean, there used to be a school, uh, a church. Um, it got it was started. Let's see when it got formed in 1860, I believe. Um, it's a very old, old community, and because we both had lived there at some point it just became something we were kind of more proud of. To mm. Yeah, more authentic, <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> I like it, I think it really stands out and I think it's it's great. Let's talk about the different products you guys have um, and what makes your coffee different from, because there's so many coffees out there. I've tried your coffee and I absolutely love it. So I'm definitely <laughs> vouching for that. But let's talk about the products you guys have. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we sell coffee. Uh, like you mentioned, uh, mugs, kind of coffee, coffee accessories. Um, we're actually just started into goat's milk soap, which is very interesting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we our coffee is an arabica bean, which it, the difference is an arabica is a different variant of coffee than what you'll usually find in stores. Mm -hmm. uh, arabica beans are more of a they're a fragile plant, so it's mm -hmm. harder to grow them. Mm -hmm. So, and with the other conditions in growing them, it, it all, Arabica beans have a much uh, 
whole body flavor. There's, it, it's comparative to it, the Robusta plants that you'll find in stores. It, there's no question in, in which one is better. Mm -hmm. My Mm -hmm. There's definitely some bias in there, but. <laughs> well, I've tried it and it's it's very good. It has a very rich flavor. Let's let's talk about your journey to entrepreneurship. What's been one of the highlights so far for you? The journey into entrepreneurship, we uh, it's been uh, it's been a very interesting road. Uh, like I mentioned, I I've had random side small businesses since. Probably back when I was in middle school, I've had I've done I've done this for a long time, and each each one, even though I use even if it ended, it helped me kind of build different aspects of this coffee company without me really knowing it. So throughout my entire life, it kind of each thing, each different business or idea that I had just helped build into a stronger coffee company for us. Yeah. Um, it's because even um, I was I did photography for three or four years and that's really helped with you know our Instagram page and mm -hmm. product photography a little bit of videography I mean there's each it, it's it, it's really interesting for me to look back and you know for Andrew he's very early into his entrepreneurial journey because before this he didn't really have he didn't have a whole a whole lot of interest in business. Um, mm -hmm. I, granted, he's always trusted me very well, so it's always been really easy to convince him into, you know, following me into whatever I can idea I can come up with. Yeah. Um, which is really great. It, it's it, there's a lot of trust between me and Andrew, so it's it's made things a lot easier going forward. And it, I've between you know his. Uh, almost person-to-person -person sales mentality and a lot of my marketing that factors that I learned in school and uh, past jobs it's just really helped collectively come together into a really interesting company for us yeah. one that I don't think I've ever had the ability to deal with in the past yeah yeah it's such freedom that comes with it. For sure, and it's it's funny what you said. I think all of your experiences, even if you do a, a ton of different things and have a ton of different jobs, sometimes all of the experiences you have kind of helps you with whatever you're doing, what, what your passion is. Like, as you mm. said, you were doing photography. It helps you with your Instagram page. So, And it's great that you guys work together and have such a great relationship and friendship. I think that's really important to say, to share the same vision. Um, I know you guys are working with a blogger. We discussed this. Let's talk about the local blogger that you guys are working with right now. Yeah, so we're actually part of kind of being having our brand back out there again. We're uh, working with a blogger uh, on Instagram with, at, um, at Coffee Shops Dallas. We're doing a giveaway, what we're doing, uh, giving away two bags of coffee and a cup so you get to kind of get a sampler of our whole company for free uh, and all you have to do is uh, we have it linked on our website so you can go to the website and then and just shoot over to Instagram and enter into the giveaway and you know we've worked with her in the past a, a lot and she she was actually part of the initial launch of the brand oh, nice. yeah. so uh, we we've grown a pretty ni a nice partnership with her and just a friendship more than that even to between us and she's very local so she's she's just in Dallas for to uh -huh. it so she's 45 minutes away from us and so it makes for a really easy partnership there yeah amazing and where can people find your products or buy your coffee so right now the our, all of our products are only available on our website mm -hmm. um, due to the nature of kind of how we have the business set up uh, me and Andrew both work full-time on top of doing this yeah. as a as a very heavy I guess uh, side business we so you know during our normal nine to five if we when we get sales I'll come home put them box them up ship them out uh, whenever we work with anybody I'll do that a lot of times you know before I'm leaving for work if I see an order came through that I didn't see the night before I'll package it up and I'll just drive by the post office on my way to my other job. Mm -hmm. So right now, a lot of it is 
specifically online. We have a few little stores local in commerce that we work with, but for the majority of the population, you're gonna, it would be directly on our website at scatterbranchtrading.com. Yeah. And what advice do you have for other entrepreneurs out there? Because we have a lot of entrepreneurs that watch this show and you guys are doing great. So let's talk about what advice would you have for them? For any entrepreneurs, I mean, we, we've we gone through this a little bit before uh, we, and we're constantly going through it, but uh, a lot of the time in entrepreneurship, I mean, you're going to have some hardship or obstacle that feels like you can't get over it and just feels impossible to get past. Mm -hmm. But the more you really look at it, you have to kind of change your mentality into using every obstacle or problem that comes up and using it to strengthen your company or whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. And that it, same thing can be applied to life. I mean, it, if, if you take every failure and just let that build up on your shoulders, it'll get heavy really quickly versus if you just use those experiences and the issues you overcome and just learn from it, essentially, mm -hmm. it's that would be the biggest advice I have. I mean, we we going into this, we, there was a lot of stuff that we didn't realize we didn't know. Yeah. And there's, I'm sure there's plenty of other things out there that are going to come up that we won't be entirely certain how to handle. I mean, we're we're both still pretty young, so I mean, yeah. there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of things out there that I'm sure that we don't understand, and that'll it'll just take time for us to reach that new obstacle and move forward. Yeah, I think that's the most wonderful part of entrepreneurship is that through all of the failures you go through and obstacles, you become a different person, and it really helps you to mature and grow up. <laughs> um, for any like any person out there, it doesn't matter what age you are. All the obstacles strengthen you, and it makes success that much sweeter. You know, so I can completely agree with that. Um, where can people connect with you and uh, Scatterbrunch Trading Company on social media? Uh, so we're on pretty much everything: uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn. Uh, YouTube, pretty much, pretty much any, anywhere we can get get into, we're, we're, we probably have a presence there. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> well, we will definitely connect with you. Thank you so much, Cody. It's been a pleasure as always, and I wish you and Andrew all of the success. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as through iPhone and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.